<clears throat> well, blessed afternoon, friends, folks. I take another day off of work. Cause I'm feeling 100%. Uh, still taking them penicillin pills like I'm supposed to for the staph infection. So, appreciate all y'all praying for me. Continue to do so. It's a more of a minor discomfort than a really big infirmity. You know, I'm not battling cancer or something terminal. But still, it's an irritation. <sighs> Be like if you're out in the woods in a survival situation, but you cut your finger on something or you cut your toe on something. It's a little minor irritation, but something can get in and affect it. It really mess your world up, man. So, you know, that's why the Lord gave me days off, sick time, things of this nature. So let's call upon his supernatural nature. Today, we're going to go with Sarah Young's book, April 1st. Uh, I'm not an April Fool's kind of guy. I tell like it is all year long. So here we go. Let's tell it like the Lord says to be, for he is the great I am. We ain't nothing more than his children to a heavenly father. I am calling you to a life of constant communion with me. Basic training includes, and every soldier goes through basic training. So you best believe you are a soldier in a most high God. And a doctor look shit. <laughs> Basic training includes learning to live above your circumstances. Over here, circumstances here. Even while interacting on that cluttered plane of life. Uh-oh, in 2024, it's all about clutter. I'm sitting there making this message. There's, there's planes going on overhead because we've got an airport right there. Cars going by. It's a busy world. Even while interacting on the cluttered plane of life. You yearn for a simplified lifestyle so that your communication excuse me, with me, can be uninterrupted. But I challenge you to relinquish the fantasy of an uncluttered world. Accept each day just as it comes and find me in the midst of it all. January 5th, 2008, when I gave my heart to the Lord, I was right over here in the Comanche County Jail cell. And then I got released to a pod. Every Anyone that's been to a county jail knows what I'm talking about. When you go to that pod... There's gangsters, there's rapists, there's thieves, there's murderers, there's car thieves, there's every form of criminal in there. And they are loud. The pod, the cell, whatever, it echoes all that noise. But in the midst of it, I had the most beat up Bible ever, an amplified uh, Copeland Ministry Bible, amplified Bible. Not to put hackles down your back, but I gave up Kenneth, Kenneth Copeland a long time ago, but the Bible's a good one. Read it. I will give him this much. He does put the Bible in jail. But uh, read it. Get it in your heart. Read any Bible that you can in there. But even though all this was going on, there was even fights. There were people getting smashed out in my cell. People gave me warnings, hey, chief, don't go in there. You know, and I'm like, okay. And then quickly I found out later on, oh, man. I see some things in there which I didn't see. But I was not involved in any, any of that. Talk with me about every aspect of your day, including your feelings. Remember that your ultimate goal is not to control or fix everything around you. It is to keep communing with me. Mm. Like when Annie left, man, it was hard for me. My flesh was leading me emotional roller coaster. Oh, I wanted to kill everyone that she was with. And I did almost kill the main one <laughs> in 2017. But thank the Lord he had a different plan for me. But then... When I got to his word, I got on my knees and I prayed. I'm like, all right, Lord, I release my marriage onto your hand because I know our marriage will be reconciled. Reconciled is one of them big 50 cent words for it is saved. It is done. It is finished. So be courageous and be brave and call this out in my name. If you love your spouse that much, even though they have left, even though they've done every, everything under the sun, cheat on you be a tre treacherous to you but you still love them well then you keep on keeping on in that way because i had tons of people tell me get a divorce and i'm sitting here looking at them and a lot of these people were christians there's a big difference between them and us at washita pool gospel we call ourselves children of god christians came here and killed every man woman child of every indian tribe that there is so they could advance in this land and steal our land but you have to separate the good christians from the bad christians like Colonel Shivington, from what I understand, know his family, they made a resolution. John Youngbull tells me this because they slaughtered them Cheyennes. Terrible what he did. But the family come up. John told me he was even at the ceremony where the family asked for forgiveness. Now, that is Mahal. That is great God Almighty Jesus Christ and the Hung Kwai Spirit right there. That's only one example among many. <laughs> A successful, a successful day is one in which you have stayed in touch with me. 
Even if many things remain undone at the end of the day, do not let your to-do list, written or mental, become an idol directing your life. Instead, ask my spirit to guide you moment by moment. He will keep you close to me. <laughs> and he will. In the middle of adversity, the Lord will come and you will see his treasure. And that treasure, it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to him. We're fragile clay jars holding that treasure. What is that treasure? It's love. It's forgiveness like what Shibitan's family did. It's forgiveness on the Cheyennes because they had every right to be bitter for what he did. Killing all of them, even children. You got to have a special heart to be able to kill children. Shibitan might have went to hell, but his family, they took a stand of a generational curse. Just like us native people, we take a generational curse. We take a generational stand against the curses, alcoholism, drugs. And all this, and we, this is for all faces, all races of all human beings. A lot of my focus is on the native people because my native people, they have something against. Well, you, you're serving Jesus. That's a white man's Jesus. No, this is a every man, woman, and child's Jesus. And you must be a child of heaven to enter, a child of God to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not a Christian. But there are good Christians, there are bad Christians. But as for children of God, you always got to be good. And when you fall short, you sin, okay, you sin, but you know what? You're not stuck in that. You're not looking forward to the next trespass because you have a license to drive, but you don't have a license to sin. You see what I'm saying? Here we are. Proverbs 3 and 6. This will, this will always, always guide you right. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Be blessed. And you're on Warpath. Hi, Owen.